yon So, napag-decisionan ko na mag-bake sushi. Actually, kagabi yung first time ko talaga mag-bake sushi. So, and nagustuhan naman ng mga chef sa bahay. So, mag-sushi ulit tayo. Sushi pa more. Yan. So, yun nga. But before I proceed, before I go on with my vlog, with our vlog, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click down below the like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that updated kayo sa lahat ng mga vlog namin every week. And if you keep coming back to see our vlog, thank you so much mga kanuyok. Mm. Ayun. Sabi ko nga, magbibake ako ng sushi kasi... Ewan ko, nagustuhan ko talaga yung lasa ng baked sushi. Akala ko noon hindi siya masarap. So, deadma ko lang siya. Matagal na nga itong sikat sa atin sa Pilipinas eh. So, ngayon ko lang siya nakahiligan. So, susubukan kong gumawa ng baked sushi at ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko siya ginawa. And, I hope magustuhan niyo yung vlog natin. Okay? Tara, akit tayo sa taas para malaman natin ano yung mga ingredients na kinakailangan para gumawa ng baked sushi. Pero ito ha, hindi ito yung vlog na katulad ng kay kumaring um, Judy Ann Santos Agoncillo na ang ganda-ganda ng background ng kitchen niya or talaga ang ganda-ganda ng setup. Hindi rin ito katulad ng vlog, cooking vlog ni ng asawa ni Kumaring Ann Curtis Smith ha. Hindi ganun ang magiging vlog natin. Simple lang to Yung mga simple galawan lang natin to sa pagbablog. Okay? Tara, taas tayo. Punta tayo sa taas para mahanda na natin ang lahat ng kailangan. Let's go! Our ingredients for today the rice Japanese rice mayo with the secret ingredients Philadelphia cupine Japanese mayo Mitsukan rice vinegar Furikake Sriracha mayo Optional wasabi And shrimp Today shrimp ang gagawin natin Yan, pwedeng salmon Pwedeng yung Imitation crab meat Yan, yun ang pwede nyong ilagay First uh, thing that you should do is mix the shrimp in our pre-mixed secret ingredients. I will not tell you what it is. It's a mayo with a secret recipe. So mix all of it. Mix it well so that um, the taste of this mixture will go into the shrimp. Then put the whole cream cheese or the 8 oz cream cheese and then mix them well. Then put the Japanese mayo. You can also put the regular mayo. It's up to you. And for me, I am generous. I put um, all the ingredients as much as I want so that it will be very tasty. Okay. 
mix well all the ingredients and then after that you can put one another one is the sriracha well, you can put as much as you want it's up to you it's your big sushi so just be generous when it comes to all the ingredients like what i've said before then mix them well again there you go just mix mix and mix This one is an optional, it's up to you, you can put furikake, for me I put the furikake just to add more kick to the mixture. Again, it's really up to you, it's optional. Put wasabi, it's optional if you want your baked sushi or a mixture of your baked sushi to have a little bit of kick when it comes to spiciness. Again, it's optional. For the Japanese sushi rice, I cook 2 cups of rice with a um, ratio of 1 is to 1 but you can do 1 is to 1 and a half it's up to you it's your price if you want it too sticky you can add more water Then add 2 tablespoons of rice vinegar. One. And two. Just mix them well. Once you mix it, it's optional again. It's up to you. You can pour furikake. So I wanted to have a furikake, so I pour a lot of furikake into our rice. Then just mix them well. Then after mixing the rice, transfer it to the aluminum tray. You can use the round shape, the square, or the rectangle. It's up to you. It's your preference. It's your sushi. So you can use whatever you like. Just spread the rice to the aluminum tray. Just like what I'm doing. Yan. Ito preference nyo to. You can you um spread for rikake again. It's your choice. This is your sushi, so you can do whatever you want. This is optional. Then ibalik. Then lagyan ulit ng rice or spread another layer of rice. Yan. Just press it so that it will be evenly spread to the aluminum tray Pasensya na ha kung nag-English ako ha kasi may mga audience tayo na 
coming from US or other part of the country or the world na naiintindihan lang nila is English. So, we have to speak sometimes English in our vlog. So, nosebleed. So, yan. So, after we spread the rice into the tray, yan, yan, press pa natin more so that it will be flat. So, that when we put the spread that we make the other, um, just a while ago, eh, mag-flatten din din siya or evenly spread dito sa rice natin. And again, this is an optional idea. You can still put for rikake. So, this is my sushi. So, dagdagan pa natin ng maraming sushi. Ah, I mean for rikake. Yan. Then, ilagay natin yung mixture na ginawa natin kanina. So, yan. Lagay lang natin. Then, spread ulit natin. Spread it evenly into the aluminum tray or over the sushi rice. So, yan. Ganyan lang. Ganyan lang ang gagawin ninyo. Alam nyo ba, nung una, sabi ko, eh, hindi naman masarap tong big sushi na to. Sabi ko, iyo kong tikman. Sabi ng ate ko, gumawa ka, masarap. So, sabi ko nga doon sa intro ko na ang tagal-tagal na nitong uso sa atin. So, ngayon ko lang siya naisipang gawin. So, yan. Ilagay yung dagdagan natin. No, yan. So, like what I'm saying, ang tagal-tagal na nitong uso sa atin, tapos nitong pandemic nga, naging business na siya ng mga karamihan sa atin sa Pilipinas. So, hindi ko alam kung ano talagang lasa. So, I decided today na gumawa nga nitong sushi. Para naman matikman naman natin. Para hindi naman tayo napag-iiwanan sa uso. Char! <laughs> Hindi, pero syempre, para makatikim tayo. Eh, madali lang naman pala siyang gawin. At saka, hindi naman pala ganong kamahalan yung... Oh, ito, by the way, lagyan ulit ng furikake. May sinasabi si Direk, ayan. Spread daw natin, spreadan daw evenly. So, yan. Asa na ba nga tayo? Spread pa tayo more. Minomostra ni Direk na mag-spread daw ako ng more for kake para mas masarap o kitang kita naman, di ba? O oh, yan, o. Oh. Sige, Direk. O oh, yan. Sa tingin ko kasi, the more na maging generous tayo sa mga ingredients, mas maganda, mas masarap yung kalalabasan ng niluluto natin. So, wag natin tipirin yung mga niluluto natin. So, yan. After we spread the furikake, idagdag pa natin yung mga natitira para masama lahat ng spread. Yan. So, ganun lang siya mga ka-New York. Madali lang siya. Akala ko super hirap siya. Eh, hindi naman pala. So, yan. Ganun lang siya. Madali lang talaga siya. Hindi ko talaga akalain na, mahi, na, na madadalian ako at masasarapan ako sa sarili kong big sushi. Yan. For the final touch, spread again for rikake. Do this to your big sushi. Sigurado ang sarap-sarap ng magiging resulta ng big sushi nyo. So, lalagyan natin ng design ang ating baked sushi. Yan. So, ganito lang yung ginagawa. Nakikita ko sa mga vlog, ganito lang yung ginagawa nilang design. So, isang line, tapos inikot ko, then, ayan, ganyan. Ayan, tapos, lalagyan natin after ng sriracha, yung nostrils ng, or yung pinakaano ng butas ng sriracha na nabili ko, hindi katulad ng sa Japanese mayo. So, ang ginawa ko, patak-patak na lang. So, drop yan. Ganyan. Para lang may design siya. So, yan. Ganyan lang talaga siyang kadali as in. Hindi ko rin ina-expect na ganyan siya kadali. So, ay kung nakaya ko, kaya nyo din. Yan. So, ganyan lang. Ang lalaki, di ba? ng pagkakapatak kasi hindi ko makontrol yan ganyan ganyan lang mga kanoyok yeah that's it 
Tapos ibibake natin to. Okay. Right, heat your oven for 350 degrees. Then bake for 20 minutes. Subscribe and hit the bell notification para updated kayo sa mga new vlogs.